What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and you can see I'm recording in a different setup. That's because I moved back into college but this time into a house, not a dorm, which is a much better scenario especially with everything going on at the moment. So today I'd like to show you how to add multiple files to a database in Wix. This is a very common question. People are like, I'd like to be able to upload multiple images, multiple videos, multiple documents, whatever it may be, to their database at one time without having to do multiple separate uploads. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you're brand new to the channel, first, thank you for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content here on the channel. And it's a perfect time to jump into this Wix Nation community. It all starts by clicking that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into today's video in our new environment. All right, so we're here in the editor, and what we're first gonna do, I'm gonna go through certain elements a little quicker than I would have traditionally in the past when uh, Wix code, Corvid by Wix, had just come out, because I've got a ton of videos explaining how to do some of these things now. Feel free to look at the channel for a reference. But first things first, is we have to create a database, right? We have to have a place for those images to be stored. What you're gonna do is, I'll turn it off to start, but you need to go up to dev mode and you need to turn on dev mode. This is going to enable your Corvid tools so that way you can access stuff like databases like page code uh, and user input fields. Once we do that, we're going to come over here to database and we're going to click this little plus button. Another way you can do this is if you go to content manager here and you press create new collection. In fact, most of the time, this is the easiest, quickest way because it's got the quick start icons over on the left-hand side of the editor. Once we're in here, we're just going to name this. We'll just call it gallery, okay, for the sake of this database. And I'm personally a fan of always setting up custom use permissions. Essentially what this means is you choose who can read content from this database, who can create it, who can update it, and or, or edit it, and who can delete it. In this case, I'm just going to put anyone can view it who can create it, admin, who can edit it, admin, who can delete it, admin, because you're going to be the one uploading the images. Now, to give you a real life scenario of what this may be, maybe you've got an online course and you'd like to submit multiple videos to your database at one time. Maybe you've got a membership area and you want to submit you know, pictures, documents, videos all at one time. This is those real life scenarios in the case that you would use this. So it's really practical, really, really usable. So we're going to set and create collection and then Wix is going to work its magic. It's going to go ahead, populate our database and it opens up in this new database format, which is much cleaner, much nicer. And then what we're going to do is we have to go to this plus button. You're always going to have your default title field here. You can learn more about that on one of my other videos. We're going to click the plus. And we're just going to say media gallery, okay? And we'll name it media gallery. Here's the important part. For field type, you're going to scroll down here and you're going to choose media gallery, okay? So you'll click media gallery. You'll press save. And then we've got a media gallery field. Once we've got our media gallery field, here's where you'll be able to actually upload multiple files at one time. Now, here's the only drawback. At the moment, there is not a practical, easy, plug and play way for you to do this on the user side of things. So if you want a user to submit multiple files at one time, you still have to use those individual upload buttons. However, if you are doing it from an admin perspective, which are the real life scenarios I just mentioned, membership website, online course, you have the ability to upload multiple files at once through the database because if you now click on media gallery you'll click on this little icon add media and then it'll take you in here to your media gallery which it'll load up here in a second and you'll actually be able to come in here add images add text add documents so if you come in here add media 
we can go ahead we can add an image let's just say we're gonna add an image for right now it'll load up there we go and it'll bring up our actual media gallery site-wide right so this is where we'd upload media site-wide um, your actual website media manager and we'll press upload media forgive the uh, slower Wi-Fi here as I'm back on <laughs> college Wi-Fi so sometimes not as quick so we can come in here if we just go here we'll just pull something from our other Wix account um, let's just come in here we'll just grab a random picture from the computer we'll just click this one and then it'll upload this and then if we came in here and we went to media from Wix and we see some free media we like by the way Wix has got a bunch of free stock media here again pardon the college Wi-Fi it's 11 a.m. and there's plenty of college classes happening we would click this double click it and then we can add that as well and then it populates in here and we still have to go back and grab our other one that we forgot to grab we'll click on that and we can add that as well and there you go just like that you can now name your pictures over here describe them press done and now what you've got here is you've got a media gallery. So that's how you upload multiple files into your database at one time. In our next video, what I'll show you is I'll show you how to actually display these files now on the page. So that way you can see the practical application of the other side of it, the front end. This episode, you saw the back end, how it worked, uploading the files, creating the database, adding the files to it via the media gallery next episode I'll show you how to actually show the front end how to view those files so that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to throw a thumbs up down below please comment if you've got any questions whatsoever I'm happy to answer them and I look forward to it and lastly if you haven't already make sure to go ahead click that subscribe button turn those bell notifications on and join this Wix Nation community. We are the largest Wix training community on the internet, and it's a perfect place to be with a great environment of some awesome, like-minded individuals. I look forward to seeing you in the community, and until our next video, I'll catch you next time. Have a great rest of your day.